Hey, YouTube. All right, so I'm here to share um, this 4th of uh, I can't talk this morning. This 4th of July um, card that I made. So, yeah. I want to see what you all think, okay, about this card. All right, a little bit out of my, I guess, element. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to share it. Okay. So, this is the card. What do you all think? So, I use that Recollections um, corrugated cards um, from Michaels. And I done had this for a while. Um, yeah. But I was like, couldn't figure out, like, really how to work with them. So, anyway, I thought this would be ideal because, once again, I'm using scraps from my vault um, that K and Company um, 4th of July pack that I showed you all in the previous video. I'm still working off scraps from there. And so, I thought about this corrugated card base. I thought would go really nice with this. Okay, so what I did was I used the corrugated card base and then I matted it with some um Huckleberry Finn, Huckleberry Fusion card stock from um uh, Fun Stampers Journey. Love their card stock. And then I had two pieces of scraps from the paper pad, if you all could see that. So what I did was um this paper pad really puts me in mind of a vintage feel. So I thought to use my um zutter and I distressed the paper um around all of the edges and then I took my Martha Stewart punch out. You know this is one of my favorite punches and I punched two rows of scraps to make this little um trim. Then I took some trim out of my stash bucket and I put the trim on the bottom and then I put a row of the paper trim and then on top of the paper trim, I put this trim. You all can probably see that in between. And so basically I just build up, built up the trim, like four or five different layers of trim. So then I pulled out this um, metal key that I've had for a while out of the Michaels bin. And these are some enamel dots from um, Teresa Collins. Um, a while back, they had these on clearance. So I thought that would be nice on there. And then, you all, what I did was from these two are stickers, and I just backed it on some um, scraps from the pack and then fussy cut it out. Gave it a really, really nice look. Because those was clear stickers. So now the paper, um, you can see the paper through the sticker because they were trimmed in um, clear. They were clear stickers. All right. So then I put on my Spellbinders um, uh, die and I made this little banner. And in God We Trust, I thought that was cute. So I had these um, star brads. And so what I did was I adhered those. I took the little um, brad part off. And I just glued those stars down. And here is some um, netting that I put on there. And I just thought that would give it a nice rustic, um, a nice rustic look, you know. So I decided to put that there. All right. So then, of course, you all, I, I love these little corner edges. I got to only piece them out. I can't do do all four because I'm getting limited on my supply and I have not seen these at Michael's. I don't think they're making them anymore. But anyway, I put that one there with a red star. So you can see the corrugated um, car base right there in the corner. I thought that gave it a nice um, little rustic look. Alright, so then I took each layer of the paper and I twisted it or rolled it, I should say, rolled it forward. And made these little holes, right? So then I made me some more firecrackers. <laughs> you are 4th of July. It's not 4th of July without firecrackers. So I had to put that little touch in there. So I took the straws from the Dollar Tree. And I made firecrackers. I thought that really, really was nice. 
But again, that was just my thought. So then moving over here, I took some navy twine, made the little bow effect. And then I have these, you all, I love these. These are in my vault too. Um, I haven't seen a lot of these anymore in the store, but they used to be um, plenty. And so I guess they stopped making these too. But I love these little cornerstone chips. I just love it. So I had to pull that out. Of course, they had a July one. So, you know, there it go. I put that down and I think it gave it a really, really nice, nice look. So overall, this is my um, little 4th of July vintage card. I think it came out cute. I had fun making this i really did i had fun making it all right let me show you the inside so this is the inside i matted it twice um on the top and the bottom and then i used some more of those clear stickers that i had in my stash american spirit lives forever land of liberty and then i used my um recollection stamp um, happy 4th of July and then I put 2016 I don't know about you all but when I sent out cards even before I start trying to make a card because I'm not going to claim I'm a card maker but before I even start making cards myself I would send out like Christmas cards because that's my favorite holiday and I don't know I'll always put the year um on, on the cards now my granny oh my goodness she gets tons and tons and tons and I say tons people I'm talking like a hundred cards come to her at Christmas time and out of a hundred you might see five um, cards that have the year on them and my grandmother keeps these cards especially the ones that she's crazy about and so she posts these cards up every year like decorations all through the house all of the walls it's like covered doors everything and so I, what I, I'm saying that to say I like to put dates so you will know what year if you are a card collector over the years, the cards that you've gotten from a certain individual. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, this is my card, you all. Um, yeah, I was kind of excited to come show you. All right, tell me what you think. And um, this is the back. I probably just signed my name, put, put um, you know, made by me. And that's it. So this is the card. Really, really, really nice. I love it. Tell me what you think. All right, you all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Be blessed.